Greetings, I am Takur. I heard that you requested my presence. Thank you, Takur. It's very nice to talk to you. Thank you. As yes, always. Your, request, your presence was requested by several people, so if, if there's someone with a question, please let me know. Well, first, let me give you an update. Yes, thank you. So, and right now, we are still working with the Earth energies. They are sometimes almost out of control. They are so wild. But it is because that the axis is trying to move. It is also that the sun energy has been very much a part of this um, crazy energy that you have been feeling. But right now, the sun energy is starting to diminish. Let me explain why it was so harsh. There was a period just a few weeks, maybe four weeks ago, where you had a very large CME uh, come from the sun. Well, it was not facing the earth at that time, but within several days, it was that area that released the large CME was facing the earth. And at that time, there was a lot of spikes and flares. And the area of the sun that that CME came from is very disturbed, it was very disturbed, and the energy was very restless. And so it sent that out to the earth, and you felt it quite harshly at times. So that is one of the reasons why many of you were up and down or felt very tense and nervous or perhaps even negative. You were trying to fight that off because there was a lot of interaction with sun energy. It is passing. You are no longer in, in an area where that is affecting the earth so much. But there are other energies. The earth energies are continuing to uh, develop, should I say, because since 2012, when the Earth energies first changed, and then on each equinox after that, they began to change uh, even more. The energies of the equinoxes have helped the Earth energies uh, uh increase to bring certain things back into your realm or such as well there was magic in your realm before and there's it always existed but now it's ramping up it's becoming stronger and magic is now part of uh your the energies that are with you it's still very weak it's only at about six or seven percent developed but it's now starting to be used by those that understand it. And those, there have been those that understand magic for thousands and thousands of years when it was prevalent and that has been passed down through many, many generations. And now it's starting to become a powerful uh, thing again. But it's not necessarily negative. It can be positive that you should work with it unless you know exactly what you're doing. But um, a great deal of study must go into that before you can practice positive and good magic. So to make it you aware that um, it is increasing, and that will be something that you will be feeling. You will be seeing magic actually occur around you in some ways. Also, the other earth energies that are increasing will uh, help you to evolve in, in the ways you are supposed to evolve. Your, your skin will become um, softer and lighter. And because even though it would appear to want your it would appear that your skin should start to turn a little harder because you have more rays of the sun and things of this uh, nature bombarding you it will become softer because of the earth energies and because of healing energies that are in the earth so your skin will be, start to become slightly softer and you will startly start to become a little shorter and 
uh, you will start to evolve uh, in ways that telepathy will take over and things of this nature. But that is long term. Other things that are happening on your planet, we are still working with the wind and the rain and the snow and all the different um, weather uh, fronts that are crashing into different places. And also the earthquakes and volcanoes have never been more active. But we are helping Yellowstone not to explode. We were very worried about that for a long time because it had a great deal of energy and still has earthquakes happening there. But we have run off about 14% of the magma um, to the southwest underground. And so that is helping the pressure there to subside a little. There's still quite a lot of pressure there, but uh, we're helping it to run off as much as we can. Is there any questions? Yes, we have quite a, quite a lot on this side, and I don't know about in your room, but we'll just start. Um, we have first typhus, and then th there, there's a list. So typhus first. Yes, there you go. Hello, Takur. It's a pleasure to talk to you and be in your energy. Greetings. It's a pleasure as well. I, I won't be too long. I just want to ask a quick question. Um, some time ago, I received my master level Reiki attunement. Yes. And during yes. this... And during this time, <laughs> I see you, Will. During this time, my mentor gave me another gift. It was a vibrational gift. And now when I look at people, I'm able to see a number that pops up in my mind. And I don't right. know what that number right. is. I don't know if it's a dimensional frequency or vibrational frequency. It's a, it's a, it will give you an indication of what is going on with that person. Now, if you study your numerology, you will find out that this number will give you a clue into what is happening with this in individual, and that will help you with how you do your healing. Meaning, if it's, if it's a mental, if they're going through stress or mental problems, if they're going through emotional problems, such as with the heart, or if their problems are continually physical, or perhaps you have a a group of problems with certain individuals, or it may tell you that they need grounding, or that may tell you that they're, uh, uh, you need to uh, brighten their chakras. These numbers will give you extra information hmm. about what is going on with them. Now, you are, humans are going to find that uh, these energy modalities are going to get stronger. These energy modalities are going to get more popular. And why is that? Because it's more efficient. There's no side effects. They work directly on the problem and they do not uh, cause any problems. Whereas chemicals in the system can hurt the organs, can cause side effects, can cause other diseases. Whereas energy is efficient and it is getting stronger. And with the belief systems growing as they are, Joe Ray, Chi, all these things will get stronger and more effective on your planet. And people will want to use them more efficient. They go directly to the problem. There's no side effects. There's no impurities. And so these are going to be preferred methods of medicinal use even with some herbs or or spices or whatever you use for healing there can be some uh, side effects or perhaps if it's not a pure product there can be some toxins in it but with energy there is none of these things so energy will be the uh, healer of the future it is the healing modality of the future. Also, they, were going to, they are going to find ways to attach uh, technology to healing energies. And also light and vibration and colors, all these things 
are part of healing modalities and will be used in the future and they are much purer and much more effective than chemi chemicals thank you very much i really appreciate that You're welcome. okay uh, the next person is sheer sheer great uh, how are you James. it's been a while i really miss you i miss you as well uh, well, I have so many questions. I will start off with uh, the part of the magic. It's kind it's of soft, a, and I of... think you are breaking up. Ah, okay. Um, my question is about magic. How can we harvest it? How can we use it? What kind of practices? How can we increase our magical power? Okay. First of all, it's very weak right now. It only has evolved about 6% to 7% since 2012, where it was reintroduced into your atmosphere, into Mother Earth. And then when the fourth dimensional energy went through, it, it actually gained some energy there as well. But you must study. It's a very ancient thing as well. But um, you're going to discover, and they are going to discover, that there are new ways to use it for health and for prosperity and things of this nature. But it must be studied and used properly because there are dark magics and there are negative beings that use them and they know that the magic is increasing as well because they have been continuing to use them since the dark ages and they see that their energies are getting greater. But on the positive side, there are many that are discovering that they have what was called white magic, and this is also becoming stronger. But they must be careful. They must understand their, this new introduction of magic needs to be studied because uh, there are few on the, on the earth that understand it in its purest way at this time. Some books will be written very soon from those that understand it from the correct view. And these books will um, teach you how to use it more uh, effectively, efficiently, and all these things. I see. And So wait for the books because they will be coming soon, probably within a year. I can't wait. Is there but something? The, the magic will continue to increase. The ascension moves forward. Is there something I can do during this year? Something that I can read now? Is uh, chaos chaos, chaos magic it, group? Is it a good group? Well, look up magic on your internet. Positive magic, white magic, and see if there's anything new there. If it's all old material then I would not use it too much, but I would read any new material on the on magic that there is out there. I see. And is there a difference between um, magic and psychic uh, abilities and one can amplify the other? From energy other than the psyche. I'm but sorry, they can be used together. Continue uh, from the start because you were cut off. I see. Psychic is from the mind, and magic is from energies that are natural. So they are different, but they can be used together. And you will learn about that as time goes on. Psychic energy is more energy and is part of the brain that has not yet evolved to be open in humans yet but it is there every single person has psychic ability if that part of their brain were to open if that part of the third eye was to be opened far enough or to understand it in the in the proper ways but magic is something completely different and will be attached to science Eventually, 
I see. Um, last question. Uh, I started to learn chemistry. Basically, everything is atoms, and the way that um, the protons and electrons are uh, divided within the atoms. Basically, if we speak about magic, and let's say I want to shoot a fireball, I'm doing a manipulation about on the atoms. I understand your bill. I will, uh, I think I'm, a, I know what you're saying. Yes, uh, both energy healing, psychic abilities, and uh, earth energies such as magic are, do work with uh, the energies of atoms, neutrons, and these things. They are all part of what is part of your universe. You cannot um, negate any part of your universe when dealing with psychic energy. You cannot negate any part of your universe when dealing with, uh, with magic or with any energies. It all is energy manipulation of some sort. It just has a different source. It does not have the same source. It has a, a but it is about energy manipulation. Okay. Healing is energy manipulation. Hmm. I see. Well, thank you very much. It is all very scientific if you want to look at it. If you were to look at somebody doing healing on a person, they would be able to measure the energy coming from the hands and going into the body. That's scientific. But it shows also that it's going to the body where it's needed, and sometimes it's going throughout the entire body. Why? Because it's something that was throughout the body, yes, if you're doing Joe Ray or Reiki or Tai Chi, the energy cause working with the blood flow that is all through the system. Pain in the back or sciatica or things of that nature, the energy would be going to that area, moving itself more to that area because it goes where it's needed. It goes where it finds the problems. Thank you understand. You very You're welcome. I understand. Good. I'm sad that we are breaking up so much today. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of interference in the in the uh, uh, technology today. Yes, yes. Um, the, we have the next person is Peter. 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 Uh, hello, Taker. Much love to you. Much love. I have a quick question. Could you give me an update mm -hmm. on, my, on my DNA infusions? One moment, please. Which ones are you getting? I'd have to ask Sengi, actually. Uh, I have um, about. But if you tell me which ones they are, that'll be helpful so that I can reference them faster. I asked for Yael, uh, Luren, Syrian, uh, Fandorian. Oh, um, yes, you've gotten two of them already. You've gotten the Luren with 5%. And did you feel any difference, or do you feel any difference at this point? I don't the other one is just but starting I... to go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I get or just barely started. Okay, which one was the second one? Fendorian. Fendorian. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you. Much love. Did you feel any differences as those were given? Yes, I felt. Uh... Strong vibrations uh, to the point that basically I couldn't sleep at night, which is okay. I'm used to it. Uh, I enjoyed yes. the and It was wonderful. Yes. Yes. Lirin will help with toning of the muscles. It will also help with skill clarity. Fendorian will help brighten the chakras and maybe start a Kundalini within you, uh, make you more clear minded and uh give you a greater understanding of spirituality perfect thank you much love 
Yes. Thank you. Uh, we have a question from Christine. Christine. Hello, Takur. How are you? Greetings. Greetings. Hello, I am fine. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me, um, I don't get much sleep at night, and I'm wondering if it's because I'm busy. Or part of it is, yes, part of it is that you're busy. The other part is that there are some um, medical things that are concerning your body, and they are being with energies of the brain. Now, what I mean to by that is that that is psychic energy at work through the body during the sleep period. There has been pain relief. Also, there's been infusions, but there has been of um, illnesses throughout the body. But your mind is working on them in your sleep. Oh, that's kind of helpful. <laughs> yes. Okay. You will sleep. Uh, now you will sleep again, not not long from now. Okay. Um, what I was going to ask is, do you um, think that I would need an infusion from something, or am I just getting enough now? Or um, we could give you an infusion for more sleep. It would slow down the <laughs> healing process a little, but that's all right. Yeah, I, I don't mind that. I could always take a nap. Okay. Right. Thank you very much, Takur, and it is so nice to hear from you again. Thank you. Okay, um, Marlene has a question. Marlene. Greetings, Takur. Um, Greetings. I would like to address quantum technology, yes. uh, specifically um, concerning our researchers on surface. It seems that not too many of them are versed in quantum technology. Um, not too many of what? Of our researchers on surface are, are versed in quantum technology. Um, how advanced are we at this, at this point, please? It depends on where you're looking on your planet. If you're going to the secret space program, they're very advanced and you would not believe how much they, how much technology uh, beyond that which you are using, that they are using. They are incredibly advanced, but that is why they are secret. There are many places on your planet that are doing studies that are developing quantum theories and quantum electronics and technologies. Now, they have backwards engineered many different um, technologies from alien ships and things of this nature, so they do have a greater understanding of how technology in space is made. The problem is they do not have the power sources. So the power sources have evade them at some point. But they are starting to learn from um, some other aliens that are giving them information that they aren't really supposed to be doing, but they are, that these power sources can be gotten by your people. And they're starting to uh, filter information to them about these sources. These particular aliens want the, to see the Earth destroy itself because they are power sources beyond what you can possibly imagine at this point. Now, there are two different power sources that have been made and revealed to humankind that are beyond um, earthly definition, let's put it that way. And uh, they are being used and tested in, in different ways. Now, the, um, what is it called? The, there is a, a machine underneath the Earth that is doing a lot of testing for these. The uh, yes, it's a co collider, the hydro collider. I think that's what it's called. Hadron collider. Hadron collider. There it is. I couldn't think of the name of it, but it is being used to do quantum experimentations, and they are advancing all the time, and they are learning that the hadron collider has its limitations. And so they need to be very careful. 
Thank you. Um, there is a professor in, in, in a university close uh, where I live um, who um, specializes in his research is quantum. Um, is there any message that you that can be conveyed to him from me, please? Yes. The energy is your future in every in every way. Um, energy savior of your planet but it can also be the destroyer so remember have him keep his thought processes about higher energy uh, to himself for the time being because those that think that uh, he may have uh, answers to uh, military questions will want to talk to him and you do not want to use this energy in a military way Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for your guidance. Um, I have a You're second welcome. question, please. Yes. Uh, at the end of October, uh, we attended an intergalactic council meeting. Um, is there, uh, from your pers per perspective, is there any information that you can provide uh, at this point? Um, well, you, came you realize out? Earth. Yes. Earth needing, unfortunately, but they did have representation. I'm sorry, you were breaking up. I didn't understand what you said. Uh, several different things. The, the blue avian control of the solar system, that was a very big subject because there were certain species that thought that it was unfair that certain species are allowed to stay in the solar system where others were sent out and others were brought in in their place because um, they felt that they had just as much right to be there. However, it is the purpose that they're looking at for uh, expelling or bringing in out of the solar system. So that was a very big discussion. Also, the ascension was part of the discussion, but it continues on its own and there's no real outside interference as far as uh, uh, interfering with the prime directive, as you would call it. it. It's going on the way it always has. Some aliens are able to infil infiltrate into the Earth's uh, population, and that will always be. But And they are undetected, and we cannot detect them either because of the way they that they uh, have been able to make their DNA almost undetectable in a human form. So there are human-born aliens all the time, and there are those that are walk-ins and those that are uh, just coming from outside your planet and in mingling with the Earth. So that is actually not permitted. Some of those things are not permitted, but they're happening anyway. But no one is actually directly messing with the prime directive or the social attitudes of the people, at least not that we are aware of at this time. But that could be also something that's being masked. Thank you. Um, um is the portal between yes go ahead well there's so many subjects but continue go ahead if you want please oh no no uh, go ahead um i just want to know is the portal between the two earths are they is it still operational it is um they have taken it up and down several times because for one reason or another but right now it is operational it's not being used very much but it is operational okay thank you very much for your input always appreciate you're welcome, <laughs> you're welcome. and uh, as far as the galactic meeting is concerned there was probably six or seven other very important subjects some not dealing with the earth whatsoever but dealing with um the war on the other side of the uh, Milky Way and things of that nature. So, yes, many subjects were 
approached or broached, whatever word you want to use, in the council. Um, do you have any guidance to give humans to in order for us to clean up, clean up our mess, please? Because we were talking earlier to Elika and about the uh, full disclosure and the galactics coming in, and yes. I am my understanding is that uh, you guys won't be coming in officially, quote unquote, until we clean up our mess. Well, the thing is, we can give you all the advice in the in the world and have done so at galactic meetings and such, but you're not taking it. So it's it's sort of a, I can give you more advice and I can give the earth the advice it needs to clean up its act, but they're not taking it because greed and power are in still in a great influence on your planet. So those two things have got to be put at ease, I have got to, uh, mellow out some because they are they are very hateful powers. Um, they cause a lot of damage and destruction. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. It will be a pleasure to see all of you on the colonies. Thank you. Um, there's a question from Temple. Hi, Temple, Tucker. beautiful. Blessing. Hello. Um, I have a question about healing. Um, I have been having a pain in my lower left side of my stomach area for maybe like two weeks. And um, this morning I tried to do a small healing on it, but I'm wondering if I can heal it myself or I don't think it's an update, but I'm not quite sure. If you could just give me some advice if there's any herbs yeah. or anything well, and what is going on. Thank you. I'm glad you asked as well. Yes, everyone can heal themselves. Many believe they cannot, and they go, I can heal everybody else, but I can't heal myself. That is not right. You can heal yourself. You have the energies to do so within you. And if you understand that holding your hands on your body, in the place where it hurts, or in a place where you feel, want to feel the energy move through your body, you can heal yourself. Now, are you going to heal yourself if you place your hands on your body for five minutes, uh, five minutes and only do that once every other week or every week? No. When you're healing yourself, you need to do it every day. You must take at least 15 to 20 minutes out of the day and do yourself healing. It will work. Your energy works within you because it is not all your energy. If you are tired after you do what's available to you, you need to start using the energies of those that want to help. The universe, Mother Earth, spiritual energy, all these energies are there to help you with your healing. They are pure energies. So if you put your hand on your, the place that hurts for 20 minutes a day, you, and you do that every single day for a while, you will be healed. There is no question, but you must do it every day to heal yourself. Now, those that you are healing outside, they come to you maybe once a week. It will take a longer period of time for those people to have complete healing. However, once they get into an, um, a routine of coming every week, the energy stays with them longer and longer and longer, and they will start to heal in greater and greater and greater ways. Now, that is something that is not well known to the humans, or to you humans. But we understand that energy builds up. It's pure. It's beautiful. But you, your bodies can be like a battery and store energy. That is what it does to keep you alive. You are a living battery in the sense that you are that energy stored. And you can release it. And you can feed it. And this energy that Reiki, Joe Ray, Chai Chi, all these give you, is feeding that battery as well as healing those 
injuries that or whatever needs to be healed. So yes, you you may be able to heal yourself, but you must believe it and must apply it as. Thank Does you. Does anybody have a question about that? <clears throat> Um, so is there any, for my specific problem, is there any like herbs that I can use or oils for that that would help in addition to the healing every day? If you have vitamin deficiencies, I would use the vitamins to help you heal with your energy because uh, most of the time I find that uh, the, the herbs, although very good, some people give you this and that and the other thing, but um, they don't have enough of that particular vitamin or mineral to help as efficiently. So check and see if you need D or K or B12 or whatever it is or in your system and have that help you with your healing as well. There are herbs and spices that are, but you, a lot of these things you have to take in precise measurements for them to heal you uh, better. And so you have to go to an herbologist or someone that knows exactly how to use them. Whereas vitamins, the excess usually is not stored, but is passed off through the urine and feces and through the sweat. But there are certain uh, certain vitamins you don't want to take too many of, but um, most humans do not. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, uh, we have a question from Liney. Liney, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Tika? Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, lovely, lovely to speak to you. Thank you. Um, actually, funny enough, I have a healing request. Very good. Um, I don't want to say the person's name, um, but I think you might work out who it is. It's um, a friend of mine, a close friend of mine. It's a Mal, and a friend of Jim's and a friend of Angela's. His daughter, I'll say her name, his daughter Julia is very poorly at the moment. It's just um, a healing request. Very well, I know who that you speak of. And I wanted to say congratulations to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, also, um, the Galactic Reiki that's gonna be going on soon, is that, I've always had an interest in it, is that something that I would benefit from learning? Is it what? Is it something that, and um, the Galactic Reiki, um, is that something I would benefit from learning? Yes, the Galactic Reiki, let me explain what it is. Galactic Reiki is the Reiki that we found around the galaxy and universe that also works on the Earth. Now, not all Reiki or not all energy modalities work with humans, but these particular uh, symbols and energies do work with humanity. So therefore, we are happy to introduce them to your peoples. Now, one of the symbols is actually uh, a gift from Mother Earth, and that is the uh, Rainbow Pyramid. She actually is the one that gave that uh, particular symbol, but we are using it in Galactic Reiki because it is a new symbol and one that is very powerful. So we will be giving you several symbols and history about some of the symbols as well why they work, why they don't work on some species, why these particular ones work with humans, and things of that nature. And we will be discussing the um, other healing modalities that are on Earth and why they are have been weakened to some extent and, and why these are actually maybe a little stronger. But the, the, it is true that Joe Ray is still very strong that Reiki is still strong, Tai Chi is strong, but certain symbols within their uh, within their uh, group sex sessions have weakened a bit because of the change in the energies. So we will be discussing 
think all those things. Yeah, I, I, I think it sounds really interesting. Um, just one more thing to occur. Um, sometimes, um, quite often in the evening, I get like, um, it feels like a, a sensation like, or like a shiver at the back of my head on the left. Do you know if it's somebody or? Do that, but I would think that it is someone and someone letting them know, selves, uh, letting you know that they are there and they are probably working with your children or getting permission for something. I would think that it would be a permission of some sort. Okay, because I, I, I've been getting it for quite a while now, sometimes more than others, especially when I went on holiday this year. I felt it every single evening. I see, because they were asking if they could work with your children outside of the home. Oh, right. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know. I have no idea. Yeah, they okay, work with William and Henry both. Uh, more with William than Henry, but uh, they work with both of them. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Greetings. Yes, we have another question, and it's from Nivi. Nivi, greetings. Hi, Tikar. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Um, I have a question about uh, colloidal gold. Can you tell me what are the benefits of using it? Colloidal gold? Colloidal gold. It's uh, gold suspended in water. Well, it does have its thing that's very useful at this time. It, it is, it actually, gold has magical properties. And when the gold is, the magic on your earth is uh, come up another at least 10%, it might have much more benefit. Real gold is going to be a healthy thing. But I can't tell you much about it right now. Is it the same as the monoatomic gold? Not quite, no. But close. And uh, there you... is the reasons there is a difference in it is that there is one element extra in the colloidal. Hmm. And uh, are you aware of a school of magic called chaos magic? The use of sigils as uh, focal points. Chaotic magic. Uh, chaos magic. It's a new school of uh, magic in uh, recent years. They use this. I would not say to get involved with that. Anything involving chaotic magic would be uh, to be destructive in some way. I know they say that they are positive, but there are some spells within that uh, group that are not healthy. Can I use the knowledge uh, for my own very uh, uh, for my own benefit for a positive? It's positive. Now remember, when they say chaotic magic, that means that they're taking something and making it chaotic to produce something that is not so um look into that more closely if you would i know their main mission is to increase the magic of this dimension yes i i understand that but i think they come from a basically a black magic background uh, and they're trying to uh they're trying to uh make people think that it's not but it's the most powerful magic that there is right now because it's what's been carried through from generation to generation uh, the most powerfully is the black magic. And so please do not get caught up in that because it can be, they can appear to be very positive, but it, it be check that out. I, I'm not sure that it is. Wonder. I will have to look into it myself. Uh, Tikur, this is here. Quick question. Um, one of my friends uh, is doing sun gazing and he told me about it. And he told me that after uh, a certain amount of time that you practice in it, uh, it's actually opened something behind your eyes. 
that allows uh, the sun rays to um, fill you in a better way or do certain things. Uh, it's, bas it's basically open something, but it's not the panini and it's something really just behind the eyes. And I was wondering if there's infusions to it, do the same effects. Well, it I see, I know what sun gazing can do. It can open up the uh, third eye a little bit more, and that can give a greater health to the, the the system and make things feel better and things of that nature. I'm just all I'm saying, Sheer, is to be careful of anything called chaotic magic. I I the name to me says negative, but if it is a positive. That's fine, but I, I think that they are trying to um, uh, influence positive people to become involved in this, in something that's very, very, very old. And, and then they are gathering the new with it. So if anything seems unseemly to you or Does not resonate with you. yes. If it's positive, go ahead. Sun gazing, yes, I can see that there are positive effects to that. Um, but is there a way to do an infusion to do the same effect? Because I know it's something else. It's open something else in the brain, not the pineal gland. Uh, it's not the pineal gland, correct? It is part of the brain. It is part of the psychic brain. Is it possible to have an infusion to have the same effect? Yes. It is possible to have that effect, yes. I see. And also I think I know that you broke up a couple little times, but yeah, uh, you... it is possible to amazing to get that effect, yes. I see. Um also about chaos magic, they're just um, they enjoy using explosive language. They're very. Uh, they they like to put it uh, very volatile uh, uh, language more, I think, than uh, the actual use of magic. But I do know they summon some entities, and that might not be positive. That's why I stay away from that kind of magic. But I, I do want to attract myself. I use positivity in every sigil I create. <laughs> Very good. It has its roots in the black magic that is uh, 20 or 30,000 years old on your planet. Thank you very, very careful much. with that. It's very, very powerful. And yeah, well, their main. So I would not. Please. Yeah. Well, their main goal is like they dream about creating fireballs. They don't have any like we want to destroy the world. They're like one of my friends is in that those kind of communities, and he says that their basic dream is to create a fireball, to have the ability to do so. Create what? A fireball. A fireball. A fireball. If you're using magic. I see. A fireball is sometimes a negative symbol but it can be a positive one as well so that is where i think that they are using a little bit of trickery to influence uh positive people into their negative realm hmm. okay we will uh, check it out uh, with very suspicious uh, mindset very good thank you be very careful i would hate to lose you to this because it would change your mission no, no, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> yeah, but we will be very glad if you could also teach us. <laughs> I can I can I interject something about it? Yes. Um basically any kind of energy manipulation that you do in the in the world, it all comes with the intent that you do it. And anything exactly. that is ego based like I want this, I want a power, I want that. It comes with, together with the karma that's in that energy. The only thing that you can really do to affect any kind of change that's lasting in the world is to work on yourself and improve yourself. 
Because when you're only looking outward, you're only going to attract more outward things. So it may be exciting and intoxicating to think that you can interact with beings that can do your bidding, but just realize that those beings know your ego wants. And you can say, I have great intention, but it's just like being on a you know, busy street. If you're standing in the middle of the street and there's big trucks going by, you might get hit by one without any intention of ever having that. But just realize that whatever energy you are in, you will attract anything and everything that is part of that energy. And anything that is not truly coming from love is Correct. going to be not love, no matter in exactly. what no no matter in what degree. So chaos magic is rooted in black magic. There are mi very many mystery but in, schools. In this the particular highest, key. Yeah, but in the, the highest ma ma magic schools of the highest magic, the only thing that their true goal is is to know themselves, and that knowing themselves brings them inward. It's not an outward manipulation of power. Yes. Well, be careful because magic can be very seductive. The strong, the more power that you control, the more seductive it can become. And so that is why I say be careful. Yeah. Is there a recommended school of magic that you can recommend to us? Time. Hogwarts doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, we do have a question from the chat. Um, it was, I, I'm going to ask, um, it was from, um, well, Trinity came inside, so she asked her question. It's from JD. JD, JDD, that's a, I don't, that's a nice name. Um, had an experience in meditation where um, he had a telepathic, he or she, I don't know, had a telepathic connection to um, their guides, themselves, and their dog, Chris. And they felt like they guided him back to spirit. And can you talk about anything like that? I hope well, I said that, that, JD, right? Is, that is interesting because you can, in meditation, reach out to others. And in, in this particular meditation, he connected himself with his higher self, first of all, and then uh, continued to expand outside the body to connect with another with another creature and this is possible and yes it is very possible that you did affect the thought process of this animal because it would be it, it probably saw yes i i see that that there was a very definitely this could happen okay and then there was another so, oh go ahead did you have more? Um, That's no, all right. Okay. And then uh, Lilypad Paula has several questions about cats. She says she's got this street cat that she's always coming to her door meowing for food. So she feeds her. However, she meows a lot and starts to be annoying. She wants to know what's wrong with her. And then she also says, how can she work on her cat allergy? So she's attracting cats, but she's allergic to them. <laughs> Since this cat is annoying her, this is part of the allergy. When you are not one with Mother Earth or do not fully comply with all the things on the planet, there are some likes and dislikes with some of the things that are on the Earth. And so when you find yourself in compliance with all the things on Mother Earth, your allergies start to dissipate. At least the natural ones do. Because how can you be aligned with Mother Earth and then be sick with her creatures. That's not possible. So it is that there is some kind of misalignment with the Earth and the environment of the Earth or the energies of the Earth. Now, there is allergies to plastic and rubber and things that are not natural, which that is understandable. But if you have natural allergies to animals, dust, leaves or grass these things can be overcome by being um closer to mother earth lay upon her uh talk to her 
uh, become one with her, and then she will help you to overcome those things that are illnesses. Now, the other problem with the cat is that she's very talkative. She's actually trying to tell you something, and I'm not sure what it is, but it's it, it seems like um, she is wanting to tell you about where she is from and why she comes to your door. Now, hopefully you will overcome your allergies and be able to understand a little bit about the suffering of this cat, because I'm sure the cat is going through some trauma and needs someone to talk to. So therefore, you are it. But remember what I said. Become closer to Mother Earth. Make yourself one with her. Feel her. Comp comply with her, and you will find your allergies subsiding. Because you, when you are at one with Mother Earth, you cannot be at odds with her creatures. Allergy-wise, that is. Thank you for that. Um, Trinity said that she has a question about um, uh, her, that she feels like she has a brick wall around her mind, and she wants to know what can she do to help clear it. It's a different Trinity that's, a, that's in the chat. I see. A brick wall around the mind. I'm not sure what th that would, that would stop all thoughts going in and out. Well, that's what she says. She says, no energy seems to be able to get through. She just feels blocked. How can she clear it? I would, I would, uh, is she able to meditate? Um, I don't, yes, I think she can um, meditate. I don't Meditate know if she is, though. <laughs> with the intention, you must sit in um, a meditation with the intention to destroy this blockage. What this is, is your mind has decided that it doesn't want any more input at this time. It's trying to understand that the input that it already has, but... Uh, that does not mean that it's not that you can't have more. So I would do a meditation to destroy this blockage. Your meditation must be intentioned and pure. And when you are doing this meditation, picture the third eye, the heart, and the soul as a triangle, and go through the triangle and to try to break this blockage. All right. A triangle is a symbol of great power. Yes. And so moving through the triangle will help you to uh, find the answer to why this is there and perhaps break it. She says, actually, she can't meditate. That's what she said. So you did answer uh, the question a little. Then I would have several med people meditate for you. That's always. There's someone in this room that wants to have prayer for them also. So before we leave, we will also do prayer for these people that are here and for the blockage that she is a feeling. Right. May I say something? Certainly. So I've been hosting some light language meditations because English sometimes just gets in the way. So check out Reiki with Will light language meditations with the aquarium fire, one of them may be able to help. Yes, there are other modalities that may be able to help her. Prayer, Reiki, and aquarium fire, all these things. Mantras. And mantras. And so I believe it can be broken, but I believe that her mind has put this up to block her from more stimuli because it, it felt like it had enough for now. But I think that it will come down and we will help it, help it to come down. Yes, you know, I just missed what you, because I was typing in the chat, um, but I know that when I meditate, I see always a triangle. And when I go to channel, I sort of ride the triangle and that sound 
up the vibration. That's exactly my visualization. So the triangle is well, I whenever I do my meditations, I bring the third eye, the heart, and the soul together as a triangle. And then I pass through that triangle to get beyond this place. I think it is time for prayers and blessings. Okay, thank you very much. Who would like to be a part of that? You have one. Okay, let's see who else. Anyone in our room Ray? wants to be a, do a prayer? Ray is yes. here to do a blessing. Perfect, Ray. Anyone in our Anyone room? And Temple would like to in our room as well. So Ray, then Excellent. Temple. Very well. Yeah, I guess well. And Will also, yeah. so that's Will three. As well. <laughs> Course. Temple, do you want to go first? Sure, I can go first. All right. Tuka hayata shanatika, kuboya lalikanata, kuhunia shatita kayamo o tia kalayatata, upukoyanasha, tika le hayanata, kinapoyata, kubohutiatanasha. Utila hianata, umama mayata, kule hioniatasha, katahi, kuleyala, kupu uyanashata, kumayasha, tu hi kiala, yona diapa o, tu piashana, katahi, uya muyata. Namaste. I'm letting Jim come back so he can interpret that. One moment. Who can measure love? For love is unmeasurable in all ways. There is a time when love is poured out and a time when it trickles out. But even the smallest bit of love cannot be measured for its unsurpassing beauty is eternal. With eternity and the things of eternity, you cannot measure them adequately. Love cannot be put into a configuration that can be figured out. But it is a thing that is eternal, and it is the most powerful thing in the universe. The greeting with love, the heart that is full of love, will always pass through into eternity with great ease.